Welcome to CS Money Camp. Today we will teach you timing, aiming, and positioning using the example of the legendary FaZe Clan player, Olaf Meister. Our lesson will be based on the moment that was commemorated with graffiti on Overpass and the Glock 18 Sacrifice skin. Can you recreate the legendary hot diffuse by the Swedish genius? For starters, let's refresh our memory on that match. ESL 1, Cologne 2014, semi-final. Fnatic vs Team Dignitas, 14-14. Team Dignitas is attacking B-side, which has been fortified by Fnatic. Even after losing two players, Dignitas still managed to side a bomb and take JW out. Team Dignitas is left in a 3 vs 4 situation, but they have sided the bomb and ready to fight for it. Olafmeister arrives in time and takes an aggressive position in jungle to make an easy kill on AZ and Pit. Since the shore discovered by Smoke, Olaf makes a risky time-saving move and jumps to the bomb site. Using the board's discover, he stands up and crouches several times to make sure everything is clean. Then, Olaf climbs over the board and starts defusing. The vice covered the bomb with a molotov. The fire from this type of grenade kills a person in about 3 seconds, while defusing the bomb with a defuse kit takes 5. An excellent solution. But take a note on how the molotov lands. Due to the complex trajectory, the grenade breaks against the pillar on the other side and the fire does not immediately begin to damage the Swede. This millisecond difference allows Olaf to defuse right in time before fire kills him. This defuse allowed them to win the round and end the series against Team Dignitas with a 2-0 victory. After we have recalled this episode, we can start learning how to recreate it. A good CSGO game is about finding a perfect balance between the four basic elements – aim, utility, timing, and positioning. In this round, Olaf once again proved how important all these elements are, especially timing. Thanks to the fact that the player did not waste a second, he was able to take a more advantageous position, kill the enemy, get to the bomb as soon as possible, and defuse it before his death. In a sense, his timing put the Molotov out as easy as water puts out fire. Would you like to know how to handle a situation like this? You've come to the right place. For your convenience, we've divided this lesson into four easy steps. Let's go! Step 1. Take position and kill the enemy. There's a firefight on B-side, and the bomb is being planted. Exit jungle, assess the situation, and check only the position of the enemy which is not covered with smoke. Take aim and kill the enemy. Step 2. Move to the bomb. Teammates and smoke grenades perfectly cover you. Take a running jump onto the bomb side and use the building materials as a cover. Get up and crouch down quickly while inspecting the site to safely observe the area. Step 3. Defuse the bomb. The enemies are outnumbered and have given up their positions. It's time to defuse the bomb. Do not be distracted by anything and do not stop defusing, even if your life is being threatened. Step 4. Victory Dance. Is death a reason to get upset in such a situation? Follow Olafmeister's example and do some little victory dance to celebrate your epic hot defuse. As you can see, even after 6 years, this moment with Olafmeister remains relevant and can teach us a lot. Practice your skills on our special map, link in the description, and recreate Olaf's moments by yourself. Don't forget about other guides, interesting information and giveaways from CS Money Camp. Follow the second link in the description. Subscribe, like and tell us in the comments what legendary highlight you would like to see in our future guides. Good luck!